Hello and welcome to our viewers. Joel here coming to you from Veering Zarb Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where we have in front of us the 2023 Winnebago Hike 100 Series, the 1316 FB. We have several in stock, so if you need a great deal on one, please contact me at any time at 616-965-9623. This is a great small little camper with a lot of great features and uh, even better construction. This comes in at 15 feet, 11 inches, and is 3,100 pounds. So we have a lot going on, so I'll touch on a few items. Any questions, let me know. Starting on the front of this Winnebago will be your power tongue jack and single 20 pound LP tank. They also will have an area for you to put your seven way plug and battery goes back there on the rail provided by us here at Veering Cyber Center. This does have the Ecoskeleton on it as well. You have on the four corners and then up the front onto the roof there. Great spot to put any Thule racks or storage systems. Um, allows you to just put extra storage on it and protect your exterior fiberglass. This will have your two steps on the entrance there. And we have your large 15 inch Goodyear tires. And look at that suspension. I mean, this thing is meant to go off-roading on it. You won't feel all the bumps in the road. Take it off-road, take it wherever you want to take it, because this will take it anywhere. And I do like the little wheel well cover here. They actually incorporate the storage bin here. Um, to, so it's kind of dual purpose. And you got some dividers here, a nice spot to work on right here with that little extra area there. And then we have your passenger storage here in the back. All those bags there will be your bat wing awning. So that along with your exterior power awning will give you 200 square feet of space outside your camper to hang out. This also has two spray ports, one spray port right here in the front area and then one in the back, which we'll show you that in a minute. But I do want to point out also you do have a BAL frame along with your power tongue jack and your power stabilizer jack. So you'll have two buttons, meaning two motors for your stab jacks to get this thing nice and stabilized. As we move to the rear of the coach, we will see your exterior storage kitchen area back here, along with that secondary spray port. So we have your Greystone electric cooktop, your Truma refrigerator, and some storage. And then you can attach items to this back panel as well. You got plugs and a lot of good storage and lighting. And then the very back bumper will be a receiver for extra accessory hitches, storage racks, bike racks, things like that. And on the roof there, we will have a solar panel as well. Top right your tow bolt systems if you aren't plugged into shore power. Now on the back side, we have your power core plugged in there. Other side of your storage, another storage box, hot water heater, outdoor shower, your ladder to access the roof. So if you do decide to put on some storage racks up there, that's how you want to get up there. And then this will does have a five gallon cassette toilet in your bathroom and that's what is in this box right here your cassette toilet and in addition to your solder on the roof you do have solder on the side as well so you can plug to get more solar power so that is just a quick overview of the exterior features on this fantastic Winnebago hike 100 series available today at Veering's RV Center and again I'm Joel your host so let's take a look on the inside two steps on into your 316 FB Winnebago hike and this will be a three sleeper camper. So first off we have your upper bunk or upper storage area. So that's why you have the net there. If you don't want to have it as an extra guest you can put your cargo up there and the net will protect it. And I like how they added two windows up top. If you do have guests up there, a lot of airflow lights, USB ports for any of your overnight guests. And then the main bed was right down here with your own windows on both sides as well. Storage, USB and 110 on both sides. 
couple cutouts there and this green storage doors will actually pass through to the outside. As we pivot to the front will be your kitchen area and bathroom. So we have your 12 volt Everchill refrigerator there, your convection high point microwave and some good storage. And then your high rise faucet with pull out um, faucet and then your sink. And then we have your connects charge there if you want to have a your cell phone wireless charge. And the one thing I do want to point out is in that very back kitchenette area on the outside is that the electric cooktop. If you wanted to bring it inside, put it right here. You can do so, plug it in, cook up some meals, or of course you have more space here to prep. And then under the sink, we will have a nice area there for your storage items. And then next to the bathroom will be a nice wardrobe. Good size wardrobe there for your clothes to hang up. Got your blower furnace and your converter box. And then the wet bathroom is kind of cool actually. As you go inside, you will see your cassette toilet right there. But they have these drying racks in here as well. So it's kind of dual purpose. Um, if you have any wet gear you want to dry, simply set it on these three or four shelves and you're good to go. And then of course you've got your shower head there, corner sink, your toilet paper will be protected so it won't get wet. And then that is your very spacious wet bath with light and skylight. And then we have a vent fan right just outside the door so there is going to be a nice gap. So then when you have this running it will keep that nice and aired out. And of course you have your rooftop AC here as well. You need short power or a generator to get that running during hotter temperatures. But this is your Winnebago Hike 1316 FB available for sale at Veerings RV Center. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the campground.